theme for our Eucharist today is obviously heart, giving thanks to God for all that is here. But it's also about worry and stress and how we, as Christians, have that moment where we know God is with us. Father of God, holy and eternal, and eternal, look upon us now in our hearts. May your strength overcome our weakness, your radiance transform our minds, and your spirit draw for us by our love, shown and offered to us by your Son, our Saviour and Jesus Christ. Lord have mercy. Lord, Lord have mercy. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. We have all sinned and fallen short of God's love. Let us therefore confess our sins. Heavenly Father, we have sinned in thought, word, and deed, and have failed to do what we ought to have done. We are sorry and truly repent. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, who died for us, forgive us all his trespasses, and lead us in his way to walk as his children children of life. Amen. Almighty God, who forgives all who truly repent, have mercy upon you, and set you free from sin. Strengthen you in goodness and keep you in eternal life. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Let us join with the angels and say glory to God in the highest and peace to his people on earth. Lord God, heavenly King, almighty God and our Father, we worship you and we give you thanks. We praise you for your glory. Lord Jesus Christ, only Son of the Father, Lord God, Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world and have mercy on us. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Receive our prayer. For you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Messiah, Jesus Christ, and the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. The Lord be here with you. Amen. And I also hope you. Lord of all creation, you give us the fruits of the earth in their season and crown the year with your goodness. Help us so to receive your gifts with thankful hearts that we may use them for your glory, for the relief of those in want, and meet our daily needs. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, now and forever. Amen. Please be seated. The reading from the prophet Joel. Fear not, O land. Be glad and rejoice, for the Lord has done great things. Fear not, you beasts of the field, for the pastures of the wilderness are green. The tree bears its fruit, the fig tree and vine give their full yield. Be glad, O sons of Zion, and rejoice in the Lord your God, for he has given the early rain for your vindication. He has poured down for you abundant rain, the early and the latter rain, as before. The threshing floor shall be full of grain. The vat shall overflow with wine and oil. I will restore for you the years which the swarming locust has eaten, the hopper, the destroyer, and the cutter, my great army which I sent among you. You shall eat in plenty and be satisfied, and praise the name of the Lord your God, who has dealt wondrously with you. My people shall never again be put to shame. You shall know that I am in the midst of Israel, and that I, the Lord, am your God, and there is none else. My people shall never again be put to shame. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The response to the psalm is, What marvels the Lord worked for us. What marvels the Lord worked for us. When 
when the Lord restored the fortunes of Zion, then were we like those who dream. Then was our mouth filled with laughter, and our tongue was sung songs of joy. Then said they in the nations, The Lord has done great things for them. The Lord has indeed done great things for us, and therefore we rejoice. Restore again our fortunes, O Lord, as the river beds of the desert. Those who sow in tears shall reap with songs of joy. What marvels the Lord work for us? Those who go out weeping, bearing the seed, will come back with shouts of joy, bearing their sheaves with them. What marvels the Lord work for us? A reading from St. Paul's first letter to Timothy. First of all, I urge that supplications, prayers, intercessions, and thanksgivings be made for all men, for kings and all who are in high positions, that we may lead a quiet and peaceable life, godly and respectful in every way. This is good and it is acceptable in the sight of God our Saviour, who desires all men to be saved and to come to the knowledge of the truth. There is one God, and there is one mediator between God and men, the man Christ Jesus, who gave himself as a ransom for all, the testimony to which was born at the proper time. For this, I was appointed a preacher and apostle. I am telling the truth, I am not lying, a teacher of the Gentiles in faith and truth. This is the word of the Lord.
Christ, according to St. Matthew. Glory to you, o Lord. Jesus said, I tell you, do not be anxious about your life, what you shall eat or what you shall drink, nor about your body, what you shall put on. Is not life more than food and the body more than clothing? Look at the birds of the air. They neither sow nor reap, nor gather into barns, and yet your heavenly Father feeds them. Are you not of more value than they? Which of you, by being anxious, can add one cubit to his span of life? Why are you anxious about clothing? Consider the lilies of the field and how they grow. They neither toil nor spin. Yet I tell you, even Solomon in all his glory was not arrayed like one of these. If God so clothes the grass of the field, which today is alive and tomorrow is thrown into the oven, will he not much more clothe you? O men of little faith, therefore do not be anxious, saying, What shall we eat? What shall we drink? Or what shall we wear? The Gentiles seek all these things, and your heavenly Father knows that you need them all. Seek first his kingdom and his righteousness, and all these things shall be yours as well. This is the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, o Christ. His divine purpose. 
and he will fulfill that purpose in us through us and if needed in spite of us all for his glory does God cause our difficulties our struggles our heartaches and our sufferings have a read of Job if you've not read it before do please read it the answer in Job is very much no God doesn't cause it but he may allow it to test us to make us think because he knows that deep down we are just miserable offenders suffering death hardship pain and difficulties are as we all know a result of the fall genesis cursed is the ground because of you also in genesis but as for you you meant evil against me but god meant it for good in order to bring it about at this day to save many people alive suffering therefore exists not only because it exists but to bring glory to god and to strengthen our relationship with him peter also wrote about a goldsmith and the fact that the goldsmith used fire to purify the gold to burn off the rubbish that surrounded those little nuggets of gold in the same way god uses trials to test us and purify our faith peter also goes on that that means that we are protected through our faith we go through these trials but they are shortened shortened by god and we can have joy in our suffering because it proves one's faith it produces endurance self-evaluation and clarification remember that Christ suffered for us and he and we can identify together as well as enabling us to show empathy with others so we're basically all in the same boat because often those who suffer the most are most sensitive to the suffering of others and Jesus suffered the most for all so he is the most sensitive to us. Faith, of course, is a process. And the more we discover who Jesus is, the stronger our faith can become and the less we have to worry. In Hebrews, it says, Faith is being sure of what we hope for and certain of what we do not see. God is our strength and our refuge and ever present help in trouble. Therefore we will not fear, though the earth gives way and the mountains fall. And that phrase, be still and know that I am God. Be still and know that I am God. That is a way to help beat worry, to help beat stress. We may not understand it, we may not like it, it may appear at the most desperate points in our lives but God is in control and he has purpose for all of our lives in the midst of the storm be still and know that I am God know that he cares for you though the mountains may shake though the whole world may come crashing around about you he is still God he still loves and he cares be still and know that I am God it takes practice it takes discipline it takes desire and it is a process <coughs> but stillness can be found on purpose it's not going to pursue you you must pursue it pass on worry and concerns to God in prayer and God will understand, God will listen. And it's free. Don't have to pay for it. But you will only find this. Be instant and know that He is God. By spending time with God. In prayer. In contemplation. Be still and know that.
that he is God. To God be the glory. Amen. Amen. Let us profess our faith in the words of the Nicene Creed. We believe. Now, all who died recently. 
recently, especially the women of Christ, and those whose anniversaries of death fall about this time. May they rest in peace. And rise. Rise in glory. Joining our prayers with those of Blessed Mary, the Apostles, and Christians and St. Quibben, our patrons, and all the saints, that following their examples, aided by their prayers, rejoicing with them as we give thanks for all the marvels the Lord has worked for us. For our mouths are filled with laughter, and our tongues with songs of joy. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. Merciful Father, Accept these prayers for the sake of your Son, our Saviour Jesus Christ. Amen. We do not presume to have the Lord, merciful Lord, trusting in our own righteousness, in your manifold and great mercy. We are not worthy so much to gather and to come to your table, but you are the same Lord, whose nature is always to have mercy. Tarts, therefore, gracious Lord, so keep the flesh of your dear Son, Jesus Christ, and to drink his blood, that we may evermore dwell in him, and he in us. Amen. Please stand. To bind everything together and complete the whole, there must be love. Let Christ's peace guide us in our decisions, the peace to which we are called as members of his single body. The peace of the Lord be always with you. And, and also with you. Feel free to exchange the sign of peace if you please.
Blessed are you, O Lord, God of all creation, for your goodness we have this bread to offer, which you have thus given and human hands have made. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for your goodness we have this wine to offer, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that your sacrifice of mine may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his church. We offer this Mass today to the greater glory of God. And in fact, for all those who work the earth and provide us with our food. The Lord be with you. Son, 
Jesus Christ, our Lord. Through him with him in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all the glory I was almighty Father, forever and ever. Amen. As our Savior taught us, we are bold to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Kingdom, forever and ever. Amen. We break this bread to share in the body of Christ. Though we are many, we are one body. We all share in the one bread. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. This is Jesus, the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are those who are called to his side. Lord, I am not worthy to receive you. Don't be say the word and I shall be healed.
love in creation, and have shared in the bread and wine of the holy King. By your grace, plant within us a reverence for all that you give us, and make us generous and wise, wise stewards of all the things we enjoy. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. Give thanks to the Lord, for he is gracious. His love is everlasting. God of truth, we, we have seen with our eyes and touched with our hands the bread of life. Strengthen our faith that we may grow in love for you and for each other. Through Jesus Christ, our risen Lord. Amen. Please stand for God's blessing. The Lord be with you. The Lord is also with you. Blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be with you this day and forevermore. Amen. Amen. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. In the name of Christ.